what's up guys today we're going to be showing you how to automate our smeltery and uh first you're going to want to put a hopper next to your smeltery controller and that's going to feed your ores into the smeltery itself next we want to toss whatever ores we want to smelt down in here be careful of mixing ores because you can make uh some alloys doing this so these are just starting to smelt down already and you can see it filled it all the way up so next we want to be able to pull the ores out of the smeltery itself so we're just going to break down these blocks here, place a chest. Next you want to put hoppers right underneath these casting tables. You're going to put your ingot casts inside of that. Then you're going to need some sort of redstone signal. I'm using the redstone clock from Extra Utilities to do this, but these faucets will take redstone from a lever or anything else. So next we want to place our levers up on the redstone blocks. This is if you want to shut them off. You can see the little circle stops going. And, uh, it's already pouring out ingot right here and then sending them into the chest and you can do the same exact thing over here with casting basins if you don't want to wait for ingots to be done you can do it with uh, full on blocks of redstone or not redstone but iron here in this case so next uh, if you notice we're running out of lava and we want to fully automate this thing so I'm gonna use a ender tank from ender storage and this is going to uh, pump the lava directly into the smeltery, but we just got to set it. So put this part insert, then you click on this part right here, and you want extract. And then you want to do always active. So if you see, it's pumping the lava straight out of the tank and into the smeltery. And that is how you automate your uh, smeltery.